This is a public service announcement for me to you guys to let you know why everybody should vote and why it can make a difference. Um, basically, it's a very small percentage of people that are not old white men that vote in this country, and that's why people like me, who are young women, or maybe a young Hispanic male, or Hispanic female, or, you know, whatever, are not getting what we want because we're not voting. <laughs> it's not only about voting in a presidential election, although that's really important, but it has to start out smaller than that. You have to vote in your student council, or student council, city council elections. You have to vote for measures that are being passed. You should sign initiatives. Get everything on the ballot. Even if you don't agree with it, it should be on the ballot. We should have a right to vote on it. And if you don't vote, you can't complain. Right now, our country is not what it should be. People are getting rights taken away. We've got a crazy war on drugs going on. We have, you know, horrible discriminatory laws where we have, you know, like for instance, the war on drugs targets black people. It does. There's way higher incidences of black people in jail for doing drugs. What are you guys doing about it? Are you voting to change that? Are you voting to end the war on drugs? Are you supporting candidates that are going to end the war on drugs so that people will get treatment instead of going to jail so that we don't have this racism going on with our politicians and our jails and letting, you know, picking on one race to go into jail. It's ridiculous. I could probably get pulled over with whatever in my car and I would probably be okay. But you get like a young black male getting pulled over in his car. Who knows what they're going to do with him? He's probably going to get the worst penalty there is. The laws are totally discriminatory. And what are you doing about it? What are you doing to end racism? What are you doing to end you know, unfair laws, unjust laws that take away our rights as citizens. What are you doing to make our country actually free? Because it's not right now. Don't get me wrong. I know it could be a lot worse. There's a lot of countries where people are suffering way worse than us. But we say we're such a great country, such a free country. And we're not. You know why? Because democracy doesn't work when you don't vote. So if we can get to the polls, sign petitions for things that you support, support candidates that are going to pass you know, bills and laws and whatever that you support that are going to make this country more fair. Because they are counting on people like me not voting. And believe me, I'm going to vote. But they're also counting on people like you not voting. And you are handing over all your freedoms to them when you don't vote. So get to the freaking polls, get educated, read the news, figure out what's going on in our country, and do something about it. Because otherwise it's going to just get worse. And we're going to have bush after bush after bush in office, Maybe they won't have the same name, but it's going to be the same person in office doing the same exact things that are going on right now. So if you don't like it, do something about it. Seriously. Freaking go and vote. It's not that hard. Just learn a little bit. Even if you only vote for the things that you know about, at least you will have made a difference. At least you would have taken a stand on something. So freaking get out there and vote. This has been a public service announcement by me. There will be more to come.